Welcome my friends once again to the class time. I am always happy to have you in my company. And today guys, I'm sharing with you two lovely macrame bottle designs. So this is the first bottle and I'm going to share with you the second bottle a little later on. And they are really lovely shaped bottles. So what I have here is some twine. I cut my twine in eight pieces about 56 inches in length you can do whatever lengths you like so i placed four down and i just placed the other four across on it so i take the first set of strings and i cross it on the second set i take the second set of strings and i cross it on the two other sets i take the third set and i'm crossing it onto the other two sets and my last piece, I am just going to send it through the loop and this will finish it off. And this is going to form a lovely knot in the center. Once you form the knot in the center, you can remove the masking tape. So I'm just going to pull it until I get it straight to the center, remove my masking tape and pull it tightly together, just like this. And this is how it's looking. So you form a knot and that is to hold your bottle in place or your vase in place. So this is going to set in the center of it. And I'm going to separate them to form sets. So I'm grouping them out in groups of twos. So I'm taking it like that. And with each group, I'm going to knot it together. I use like eyeball, just one and a half inches from the center. And I'm going to take two strings or twine from each group and knot them together now you can check out my video i posted a little while ago and you're gonna see me doing this again so you just continue pulling the sets together you're using one twine from one set and connecting it to the other twine from the other set and just continue to make your knots and like i said you can eyeball it um or you can use your measurements i am doing this wider you can also do it cl a lot closer together so this is the other bottle um i had some friends of mine i i said i wanted to collect some bottles and they gave me these lovely bottles and this one has some really lovely designs on it so i'm just resting it on top of the string i didn't turn it over so I'm doing this standing. If you choose to turn it over onto something, you can go ahead. And I'm going to take, do the same method. Take one string from one group and another from the other group. And I'm just going to knot it. And I'm going to do this right around the bottle. And it's an easy process, guys. So I am so happy to have you on board with me. So this is a Twine It Up challenge hosted by the lovely Creations by Favi and her co-host is at Street Cupcakes. So do check out the lovely ladies. All the information is going to be in my description box and do head across to their channel and let them know I sent you. So just continuing on. So I'm just going to be continuing building up my design all around the bottle. Um... I tend to remove the bottles or the vases if I'm doing it because I can normally just, you know, mount it up like this instead of just on the bottles. So I just continue on putting all the knots in place until I get the desired amount that I want. And I'm bringing it back onto the bottle to show you. I've reached to this point and I think I'm just going to do like one more just to finish off the top there. And then we will move on. I normally leave a tape to hold it in place. I didn't put any in this instant. So my next step is to just take each of the sets and just do a knot to finish it off. And I'm going to do that around each of the pieces. So this is what I'm doing. Now you can go straight up to the top if you wish to i am just stopping it here because i want to finish it off just at the rim of the bottle so this is going to line up with where the rim is so just continuing doing this so i have all my knots in place and i'm just gonna pull all together and bring it to the 
rim i'm just taking a twine and i'm just loosely knotting that what i'm going to do my next step is i am going to take out one of the strings and i'm going to be tying it onto the partner of it so i'll just pull out one of the strings and i'll just use back that same partner to knot it in place and this is going to secure everything together and i'm going to continue doing that right around the bottle now in the other design i'm going to do the same process so i'm going to give it two knots to secure it nicely and continue knotting each of these sets together i'm not crisscrossing anything here i'm just tying it with its partner so continue tying the knots and once we are finished i'm going to share with you what i'll do next so don't forget to check out the lovely ladies and see what lovely twine it up designs they are making and i was so happy to just jump in this to get these um macrame designs off so what i have here this was from a dress of mine and i just you know kind of save things to use i'll push through the twine and i'm just going to bend it back on itself so i'm just holding everything in place with my fingers and i'm going to get another piece of twine i am going to cut off the excess twine that's hanging and i'm going to just form a loop just like what you see i'm doing here and just create your loop and take that same twine and just start to wrap it around and around until you get the desired amount that you want to get and once you get that you push it through the little loop and just leave it there and that extra piece of twine that's on top here you pull it tightly and it's going to bring the twine up inside and it's going to knot it off for you or secure it nicely and i'm just going to use my scissors and cut off the excess on this other one that i have here i am just going to put a knot like a, a loop on it and i'm going to use a piece of twine and just tie it off right here and i'm just going to when I'm ready to hang it, I'm just going to put a little S hook on it and use that as my hanger. So guys, this is how the two of them turned out. I think they turned out really pretty. And remember to head across to the lovely ladies and let them know I sent you. And I so enjoyed doing this twine it up challenge. I have it on the side of my cupboard in the kitchen and this is how it's looking just hanging there i have a bar um a wine rack on his next side so it's you know it's tying into it and this is the other one and it looks so cute and i really love how it turned out so guys remember to like subscribe and share and it's amazing the things that we can do with simple things like twine and string and any type of materials we may have around the house. So glad, glad to have you on board once again. And guys, I will see you very soon where I will share with you another project. So guys, I will catch you later. Bye for now. Bye guys.